Okay, welcome back to Hobbytronics. Today we're going to be setting up the Bus Pirate and Logic Sniffer software. These are the Bus Pirate leads which you'll need and these are test clips which we'll use for analyzing signals. Here's a picture of uh, the Logic Sniffer software. Okay, let's download the Logic Sniffer software. We're going to do to www.lxstream.nl slash OLS is the logic sniffer site and click on the download link that you see there click the latest version and click on the zip file and we'll just download that and save it okay that's downloaded let's just double click to open that up and we'll get our zip file we'll double click that and open the zip file up uh, the software is written in Java so it requires no installation so we're just going to uh, in the program files create ourselves a directory so we will right click in there and click new and we'll create ourselves a directory and call it open logic sniffer or whatever you want Okay, you just go back to our uh, zip file and we'll just uh, select all the files and we'll just drag them and drop them into our new directory. Okay, let's have a look, make sure they're all in there. Let's uh, double click the run and uh, see if it will uh, see if it'll work. If you're using Windows 7, you'll probably come up with the error message that I've got here saying it, it's failed to create a directory. That's because of Windows 7's security. So we just have to close that, press Ctrl C and select Y to close that script. And we'll just right click in that directory, select Properties, click on Security, and then click on Edit. Choose the uh, user that you're logged in as and uh, alter the properties so they've got full access. That way when we run our program again, it will be able to create the uh, cache directory that it's trying to create. And up pops our logic sniffer. Fantastic. Just resize that. Okay, before we play with the software, let's just plug our board in and make sure the uh, drivers load okay. And the board uses FTDI drivers so they should be already installed on your PC uh, should recognize the uh, driver there we go device is ready to use okay here's the bus pirate board and here's one of my project boards uh, it's got a microprocessor on it and it's also got an accelerometer on it which uh, it talks to the processor via the I2C protocol and uh, we're going to connect that up to the bus pirate and see if we can do a bit of uh, analysis on the I2C protocol make sure it's all working okay which I know it is so uh, we'll connect up the uh, an earth pin the black wire and uh, we'll connect up two of the other input leads to the top of the or the bottom of the pull-up resistors on the I2C clock and data lines Okay, let's just plug it the uh, board back into the computer. The light should light up. Oh, okay. So let's have fun. Let's go back to the logic sniffer. We just need to set it up first. Let's just make sure the device is set to the right thing, and then click on capture. All right, we need to select our serial port. Yours may be different to mine. The port speed's okay, and let's just change that. To the bus pirate. Okay, click on acquisition. Now, the fastest the bus pirate will go is uh, 1 megahertz, so we're going to select that, which is fast enough for I2C. And then we'll go on, select on triggers. We'll turn the triggers on, and we're going to set the triggers for both the uh, clock and data lines. And then select capture. Oh, 
Okay, we've got some data. Okay, the clock is the one on the top and the data line is below. Let's zoom in a little bit and have a look. Okay, we see our nice data there. One of the useful features of the sniffer is the fact that it will analyze uh, different protocols. So we're going to choose the I2C analysis now and click on analyze. It will try and work out which is the data and clock lines. Quite often it gets it wrong and you'll see a lot of errors here. So we're going to turn off its automatic and we're going to choose the clock line which we can see is the top one. You can see that it's got it wrong there. Click that off and uh, see that the clock is actually on channel 0 and the data is on channel 1 and press analyze again. That looks better. Lots of green. Okay, so we we'll close that. And we can see in here it's put the analysis results on top of the data. So if we just zoom in, we can see that it's talking to uh, the accelerometer and reading data from it. You can see all the AX and NAX returned. And uh, you scroll through, you can see that I've read 12 pieces of data, 12 bytes of data have been returned. So all is working well. Okay, let's go ahead and save our data now so we can reload it later and use it another time. Just choose any file you like. And there we have it.